be taking the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Primer. And this is like a small version because for one, primers are expensive and two, when I get a small one, I can try it out, see if I like it. I like it so far, it's really, really soft. I then will take my Fix Plus Gold Light. Like this has truly been a game changer in my beauty routine. And it's Fix Plus, but it has like gold reflex in it. I don't know if you guys can really see it. But you shake it up really nicely, just get everything around, and then I just like to spray this on my face. It just preps the skin and makes it feel nice and dewy. And for foundation, I'm going to be using the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. This is like one of my favorite foundations, especially because I like the coverage. It's super glowy and it's not all that matte. And I use the shade Tahoe. And the way I apply my foundation is I just like to put a little bit on my hand like literally this much what i have learned in doing my makeup is that i don't need to put all that foundation on my face like i love foundation i think foundation is great but sometimes i am guilty of applying too much so i just apply a little bit because my skin isn't that bad so i won't even use the rest of this if that makes sense and i just take my brush and this is the elf flawless face brush and this is just a really nice foundation brush. I, brush. I use it to apply all of my foundations and powder sometimes when I'm in a rush because I don't really like to use a lot of brushes because then I have to clean a lot of brushes. So yeah. And I like to use my Tarte and this is in the shade Tan Sand. And then I like to use my Maybelline Better Skin um, concealer and this is in the shade deep so this one is the skin almost the color of my skin tone and this one is like extremely too light so what I like to do is mix them together and what I also learned is that I was wearing too much concealer I don't have nothing to conceal so why use so much concealer I mean if you do have a lot to conceal then I, I would say use more even this is a lot like you don't have to apply so much but I just, it's like I was doing it out of habit. So my thing is, less is more to me when it comes to makeup, cause you don't wanna look crazy. So I'm gonna just take my Tarte sponge, and this is really, really damp. And I'm just going in. You see how the product automatically spreads, so you don't have to apply so much. We're going for that full coverage beat today. Cause I haven't beat this face y'all in a long time. It feels good too. So this color, as, as you can see, it has an orange undertone to it, but it's not that much darker than me. So I'm able to, you know, use it and not feel like, oh my gosh, Vanessa, you did the most. So what I just like to do, especially when I have my forehead out, is I like to use that to kind of frame my face. So I'm just taking my beauty sponge and further blending out my contour just so that there are no, you know, harshness to my face. So this is the Kat Von D Locket Translucent Powder, but it's too white. So what I took was some Sasha Buttercup and I put it inside. And what it created was this like tan powder that I love. But I love the, the finish. I just use this to pat over the areas where I know I'll be oily. Not the entire face though, because I don't want my entire face to look too, you know, I just put it over my brows. That's how I kind of set my brows, is by just taking my powder over my brows. And don't worry, it won't mess them up. When I'm done with that, I'll take my Sephora. This is the Micro Smooth Powder in Tan. It reminds me of the MAC um, Skin Finish the extra diminished skin finish but this one doesn't have reflex in it but i like it anyway because it's like a really smoothing powder to kind of warm it up a little bit and i just use this to set the face now, i do not swipe i kind of just pat why because i want my makeup to go on and plus i don't want to cause any streaks and i want everything to look soft and you want to be soft in order to have soft results on your face you have to be soft with your brush do not be hard you know 
this just requires your face is really delicate so you don't want to be beating yourself in the face with your powder you really want to be super soft contour powder that i've been using for years is max blunt powder you know you see it's very very cool tone it's not too dark and i just kind of go in on the skin So if you've been watching my channel, you know I just up recently uploaded a video for the Makeup Shayla Perception Palette. So we're going to kind of use this today because I've been traveling a lot lately. And when I say I love this palette for like whenever I'm out of town, I love it. So I'm going to go in with the shade Culture right here. And I posted my graduation video. It was an amazing experience. I cried my eyes out. My mom was happy. She didn't faint like she did in my undergraduate graduation. And my dad was there. It was really nice. I loved every single minute of it. Um, so for everybody's congratulations and well wishes from my graduation, I just want to tell you I appreciate you because you didn't have to do that. Everybody's kind words, you know. You know, if you know my journey, you know that that was just a really great time for me. So I'm just adding in some thick to culture just to heat it up because I feel like it's summertime. It's time for that, you know. I love these two colors. I feel like these are my transition colors for every look. If that makes sense. I know you're, you guys are probably tired of me. This video is going to be so long. I can feel it. This is old, the oldie but a goodie, but I'm going to take my Nubian palette by Juvia's Place and I'm going to bust out this old color right here. This color doesn't have a name, but it's like a really pretty brown. And I'm going to just pop this on my outer corners. Ooh. See that? It's like, I don't know how, but I'm always smoking out my shadows. And I'm just kind of placing this in the crease, not going above the crease because when I blend it out, it will go above the crease. I love the Nubian. I forgot how much I love the Nubian palette. Like this, the colors are so soft. I know it looks crazy, but I learned this tip from Nikki Tutorials. She like places her shadows and then she blends them out. And that makes sense because it's like you can pack on the pigment and then, you know, then I'll just take my favorite brush. This is the MAC 224 and I'm just blending out the edges. I got a little bit of fallout. So let me kind of do fix that and I'm just gonna blend and this takes five minutes so I'm gonna hurry up and do this all right so I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics brush this is like one of my all-time favorite blending brushes I'm gonna pick up the shade Unbothered it's like a white shade and I like to just tap that on my brow bone like that just to brighten it just a little bit not a lot and I only place it there because listen you just don't want to be looking crazy but this is like when I'm doing full glam looks. I'll go ahead and add that shimmer. It just gives it a pop of like. Mm. Now I feel like I want to be dramatic. So I want to just add some darkness to the lids. So I'm going to take played out here. And whenever I want to add drama, I just want to add darkness. But I don't want it to be black. I'll use a super brown eyeshadow. Browns are my fave, if you guys know. But I like to just tap these on the outer corners. And see how it automatically like brings some drama to the lids but you have to be careful because you don't want to get fallout and that's why i'm so afraid to use black a lot of times because of that very reason so i'm just tapping this on the lids tap 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 away And then I'm just going to blend it out. But it'll do for now. And you know what? I'm going to just dabble inside a stallion. Just not stallion. This palette doesn't have a black. Wow, Vanessa. Well, I have this black shade. It's like a dark. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to use this on the lids. This is Starry Starry Nights. It's an extra diminished eyeshadow by MAC. It was a part of a holiday collection, but I'm going to use it anyway. And I'm going to pop it on the out corners of my lids as well because I really want some drama in the lids. Yeah, I don't know what, what 
what's going on with it. I guess it is showing up. I'm gonna use stallion from the from this palette. Yes. This is giving me that drama that I was looking for. I'm kind of bringing it inward just because I want it to pop. I can't wait till I get a new camera, guys, because let's put that on there and then I'm blending it out. Added some more thick in there. But now it's just time for my lip color. Now I want to keep it in the spicy family. So I'm going to, I don't know what color I'm going to pick. But in the meantime, I'm going to put on, like I said, my multitasker. To apply my lid color, I'm going to take the MAC 247, and this is the Juvia's Place Saharan palette, and I'm going to pick up Kia, I think it's called. I'm really into like greens right now, like whenever I do dramatic eyes, so I'm going to pick up this color here. Okay. I'm going to take stallion from this palette i'm going to just use it to kind of cut out my eyelids a little bit just to make it a little bit more dramatic because i feel like it's not dramatic enough don't worry i am going to blend it out just take this brush and go back in with my transitional colors and I'll just blend it out and this just takes a lot of time so eye blending is no thing is nothing to play with it you guys you have to just continue to blend blend away the more you blend the better it looks that's my rule I'm in love are you guys loving this like me like thumbs up the video if you like this I don't even have anywhere to go I wanted to go see oceans 8 but I'll go tomorrow because it's Tuesday and it's half off. Ooh. I'm so excited about this. I'm gonna take Unbothered again. I'm gonna pop it here. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Like sometimes you, I like wow myself with creativity because I feel like sometimes I get in such a rut that I forget how, you know, how talented I could be if I really put my mind to it. You know, so I'm going to take the same color that I put on top of the lid. I'm going to kind of rummage them on the bottom and smudge it out just to really give it that intensity. Because a lot of times what lacks in eyeshadow looks that I do is the bottom is not as dramatic. So I'm just taking Revenge and I'm just kind of going along my lower lash line very lightly. This is the Salon Perfect On Point Tip liner thingy i just use this for my brows it's quick it's easy and it's super duper affordable got it at walmart and i just use this to kind of finish off my brows nothing too serious literally look I want to take my liner and this is the wet n wild mega liner just a cheap little liner you know and I like to place dots here to make it look more dra dramatic It just gives off the illusion that I have bigger lashes than I actually do. You dig me? And then I'm just gonna take my telescopic and coat my lashes. Oh, I'm living for this eye look. My Queen Collection bronzer, and this is in the shade Ebony. Love this bronzer, a little goes a long way. That's all I can say. Wow. 
just so that everything's blended. And then for blush, I'm gonna take my MAC. This is the, um, this blush is Telling Glow. It's like a highlighter slash blush, which I love because I like to have highlighted cheeks. And so I just, see how pretty that is? Love it, love it, love it. Whatever. So I'm gonna take my Artist Couture and my, my mini, um, what is this called? Highlight. I'm just gonna layer this on top. Can y'all see that? It's kind of subtle, but I like subtle. So I'm gonna use this apricot color here. This is by ColourPop and Makeup Shayla. It's called Ooh. Hmm. This is new for me. I like it, but you know I'm a gloss girl. So let me get my gloss. I'm gonna be taking the NYX Intense Butter Gloss and this gloss is something that I love. It's the peanut brittle one. And I just like to top this on any, you know, gloss that I have. I mean, lipstick that I have that has like an orange tint to it. Love, love, love. How do you guys feel? How do you guys feel? Let me know. You see how it just sets the makeup like snatched. Now let me go fix my hair real quick and then I'll be right back to talk to y'all. Okay, so this is the finished look. How you feeling about it? I know I got my hair in a ball. I changed it up again, I know. But I hope you guys like this video. I'm really feeling these tones. I feel like they're perfect for the summertime, especially at night, especially if you're a girl like me. So your girl needs to be cute at all times. But I hope you just enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. Let me know in the comment section what type of looks do you guys like to see. Um, this was from a subscriber. She told me she wanted to see some, you know, some smoky, some colorful smoky eyes. So I feel like, hey, here's one. You know what I mean? So I'm just grateful it's summertime. And because you made it to the end of this video, I just want to say thanks. I appreciate you because you didn't have to watch this long video. So smash that subscribe button. Go ahead and thumbs up for more videos. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.